Okay, I want to say hello again. Hi everybody, it's only me, Wilshire and Richard, here in the kitchen in my home. It's night time, okay, and I'm making a quick video for you guys, okay? Very simple techniques I'm going to show you, okay? Very simple uh, palm and hand techniques, okay? Palm and hand techniques uh, from Kung Fu style, okay? However you want to say it, Kung Fu, Gong Fu, Wushu, okay? Chinese uh, methods mainly of martial arts. We're not going so deep. Um, my training, I have different um, training backgrounds, as you know. But right? um, in the in the Kung Fu systems, I've actually um, trained, you know, a Wing Chun, as I say, Yong, Yong Chun Chun, a Wing Chun, a Wing Chun, uh, a basic Tai Chi, okay, so it's Tai Chi, uh, basic uh, Ba Gua also, okay, I've done some basic training, and also the five animal um, system, mostly focusing on tiger and crane, okay. Uh, crane being the white crane fist, okay, which I've shown before uh, by her train, okay, I've shown it before. Anyway, in this video, I'm not going to go too deep, okay. I'm just going to stand here and I'm going to show you some basic techniques. Now, in my training, I do a lot of different um, training where I actually mix styles up. So you'll see me doing, for example, um, a lot of um, Wing Chun, okay, and then sometimes I'll flow into soft um, Tai Chi motions and movements, okay, Tai Chi, as I say. Um, you've got the ball, okay, the method here, what I've showed you before, where um, you'll see this in Tai Chi and Bagua styles, where they're holding, like, not a real ball, but it's like you've got your hands in front of you, slightly in front of your body here, relax, and the arms are not straight, but they are like this, okay. And you can like roll, you know, it's, it's as a ball, you can imagine, so you're holding a ball between two palms, you can roll back and forth, uh, you can also turn your waist, okay, and um, turn your waist here, so I've got my feet about waist width apart here, you know, shoulder width apart, my feet, and what I'm doing is I'm just, um, you know, twisting my waist, so that the, uh, so my, uh, my um, top of the elbow here, the top of when I turn around, you see, that can actually strike back there. And this elbow could strike in. Okay? And then what happens is, is like, so if I was here, if you was going to hit my face, I could block here, cover, and block out. Uh, if you was to, if your arm was here, I could grab your hand as you're pushing in this say or coming in, turn away, deflect that, and grab and pull you back. If you was going to strike me, so I pull your arm here in front of me and strike back with a back fist, or strike back with a forearm, strike to your gut or elbow across your rib cage, or back into it this way. I can palm back this way, so all this motion. So when I'm coming here, so basically what you're doing is you're turning like this, you see. So when I do this motion, it's basically as simple as, I'm doing this like a block here, a circle. So from my hand in this position, I'm turning my wrist and turning out. Now from this simple motion, if you was gonna, if you was gonna come and strike my face, let's say I'll push me, the principle at least, okay, um, is in principle, you must remember in principle, if someone's coming at me for so fast, punching that so fast, coming in, coming in, obviously I'm not going to catch the arm in slow motion and block, am I? But nevertheless, the hands are here. So if you was in a guarding position like a boxing or whatever, and bending your knees, obviously, whatever fighting style you do, and you do want to bend those um, knees for some stability again when you're standing there, you know. But the hands have got to come really simple, so. If you was going to strike me, I can cover that naturally at like boxing. But I can also turn out to here. And when all we're doing is we're looking at this motion. So if someone was like, let's say, if someone was like already grabbing onto my shoulder for whatever reason, or if someone already grabbed my wrist, or someone grabbed me on the body here, this turning motion of the waist and sinking down and bending your knees and turning, corkscrewing as you go down and you twist your um, spine, your, your waist. And, I'm sorry and. This opening up here, say, blocking, the person's arm will be on the outside. I can grab if I want to grab, see. I could even hit him over the top here, over the top or under, and come in together with an elbow. So when I'm doing this motion, it's as though I've got my arms folded here, so even like this, not tucked in, but just here. I can block out, see. This could actually hit him at the same time. Bam, see. I could even be just standing here, block out, and palm. Now the reason why sometimes I'll just block like this on the outside and then sometimes I'll twist out if I'm actually blocking against let's say a swing punch or against the person's arm is because it's rolling out, there's different reasons. Um, if I'm twisting my whole, if I'm standing here and I just do that, I'm just blocking, it's a spring motion. If someone comes to grab me or punch me I can block out, 
and twist, sinking my weight and twisting out. When I do this, I can chop with my, um, this part of the chopping, the knife edge of the hand uh, against their arms, their forearms, or, and also using my whole forearm here as it twists out. It will spring out. If I use my body motion, also say, uh, that's coming into it, so I can do that. And I can also palm in, as I say, if I want to. So you'll see movements like this in the Tai Chi form when they're stepping forward or stepping with like one foot back, let's say, and one foot in front. And they're twisting into certain positions and stances. But we're just looking at the hands here mainly. Um, when they're coming at you, you, you know, you're blocked. So naturally, coming in. And you've got this, this, uh, this twisting motion here. It's the same as when someone comes to hit me here, I can twist in and block with my hand or my wrist here, twisting and my elbow in, it's just like in boxing, we're doing this motion, which you'll find in like a Wing Chun also, when you're like very stiff, very, I'm sorry, very centered on Wing Chun, but it's centered, not stiff, but centered. But when you're like soft, like in a Tai Chi motion, you can do this kind of motion when you're soft here. If something comes on the outside, I can twist out. If someone's going to hit me here, I could out this way, see? So I like to, I like to mix my, as I say, my Wing Chun and, and with some soft Tai Chi motions, and I like to mix like, pushing hands and sticky hands, but it's hard for me to show without anybody here you know, to do the movements with, but you get the idea. Now with this ball, okay, with this motion of this ball I'm imagining here, okay, this is the thing, see, it's a very, very useful concept because when you've got two movements here, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm turning here with one hand, see, this is blocking out, you see, and this is here, I can, I can strike back, okay, and when I come back out, I can actually, when I turn back around, I can turn like this, so I'm exchanging the hand slowly, look how I do this. The bottom hand comes rising up and turning so the palm faces down. And on the outside of this one, as the other one turns to face the palm up. I'll show you that again. So the palm facing down here, the palm facing up on the bottom hand. As I turn, see, now it's like I'm pulling him in, you see. Now, this, let's say that I can strike, well let's say, okay, I'm coming here, let's say I'm here, okay. This hand can also come up here, turning on the outside, not the inside, but on the outside, turning now, and they both do it automatically together. See, so as I'm doing this motion, on the inside they turn, see, rolling like this, slowly, but what you do is, you corkscrew them in together, so your body comes, centre your weight, and turn in, and bring the shoulders in, see, and then this comes on the outside, and as you turn, you turn, Locking out, see how this could grab, open, grab the hand, see if you wanted to pull it. I can step forward and do all these motions. I can even come out this way. What on a strike or push? A, stri a palm strike is different to a palm push, okay? And I want to also, and I'm also, I mean, absorbing is different, and feeling is different to just pulling him in there. And I want to also say, um, you're using your whole ha your hands, your wrists, your, your forearms and your arms and your shoulders, everything connected with your waist, your thighs and everything. And what you're in your spine and your foot, your feet position flat on the floor, obviously. And when you're rolling, okay, when you're doing this, I could block that in as it's coming to hit me, see, and this hand can come forward, so it's an in and an out, it's like yin, yin and yang, okay, yin, yang, yin, yang, coming in, so the in and an out motion, and a hard and a soft, you're soft, but you have the hard, the, the strength and the root in what you're doing. You're not soft like it's nothing. It's soft, absorbing of the motion, but there's a force when you need it, okay? Now, when you're doing these motions, okay, when you're doing this, there's another thing I want to remind you. When you're twisting the hand out, see, I could be blocking. I could be standing here, and I can block here, see, or here. Whichever foot is in front. Like, if I just take a step back, you see, turn my knee slightly in on the front leg here, and bend my knees. There's a space between both my legs, so I'm stable, not standing on one line. Now bend my back, arc just slightly. No, don't keep rigid, don't be arc too much. Centered though. Hands in front, don't lean in any direction, keep centered. The elbow slightly tucked in, but not forced. When I do this, okay, you know, my, my hands will be here in front. I can put my two hands as a guard in front like this. I can have one hand lower, I can have both hands facing the front. I can have one here, a higher one lower. Don't cover your face, but make sure you can see. Okay. Uh, I can have the other, they're turning into it, you see. The el elbows are naturally arced, okay. Not, not reaching straight out, not that too rigid. Just here. 
like a spring, see? And then you control your breath. And when you do it, you know, the motions come very naturally. So if you're going to punch me here, I can block you. I can twist naturally if I want to. I can just cup it down, block down. Like this is a circular motion washing down with my arm blocking or my hand blocking. But the difference is when you block a strike circling in or circling out, if you're using your arm, then your hand is free. So if you're going to hit me to my face, I can also palm it and block it away. Or I can just parry it across like this with my wrist, see? Using my wrist, but the hand is free. So if I block an arm here with my arm, I can chop back here and strike it or palm you back here. It's the same as on the other side. If I, if I block here, okay, if I block, this hand can strike, yes, but why waste that hand? If I can block with my arm, if you're grabbing onto me already, let's say I can come open it up and this hand can strike you into your ear or to your face. And when you do a palm strike like this, slapping out, you can slap it or you can put force with your whole body, twisting to. And you can even do a double striking here with your hand. Or you can do a double chop. Or you can open up here, rolling here, with the person's arm on the outside, you're on the inside, and this can come, this can even come over. This can come forward this way. This can come up to the chin. There's many different variations you can do from here. And again, like we said before, if someone comes to strike me here, strike me, I can parry and I can strike through. Or this way, or to the body. Like this. So you can block with your hands and you can block with your forearms. If someone comes to get my body here, I can block down. I can block down and palm through to the face. It's like doing the angry if I wish to. Like this, this, or this, okay? I can do this, I can roll over. So from the ball motion here, I can come over and then continue with both palms facing down. Now, if I wish to, rather than this, I can just here, palm, palm over and chop out, and utilizing my waist motion to come in. I can also block down and then turn to the side, like here, I'm washing the waist, circling away. So I'm turning and sending the opponent's arm away, making sure it's soft, but hard enough to keep his arm away from my body, as this one comes in, okay? Don't reach out, remember, because you can pull your balance and off of your center. Make sure you're here on that. If he goes, he goes. You can come in and walk to fill the space. Don't reach out. If he's coming straight in, I'm going to absorb. Okay? If he's pushing on, if I can turn him that way, good. If he's turning this way or that way. I want to wash and feel. And wash that away. Absorb. And I can strike to the outside to his gut if I wish to. You see if he's hitting up here, his head, if I'm inside, if he's trying to come around here, I can make myself small, come on the inside, hit. If his arms hit, sometimes I'll be lucky enough to get an elbow into his body. Or here, and an elbow up to the jaw. So these circular motions, okay, these circular motions, you know, when you get one hand, you're relaxed. This is opening up, so the ball and the circle here. See, I can circle this up here, and here, see. It's almost like that's something, so I'm here blocking, this could be an elbow here, or it could be behind. So when you see the techniques like this, I can block up, I can block out, you see, I can block across down here, I can block in, I can block across the body, letting him go there, my hand here, or slightly higher, I can block out, bringing one hand as a guard, you can have this slightly lower, or here, or nearby, just anywhere nearby here, you put the two hands here. I can block out, I can just do it to shoulder level also, like here, very small. And I can do this motion, but right? from here, I can come across underneath, and then do this. So I can keep my hand on top here, see? Or I can just go, like, as I say, like this, making a small, a small ball here, very, very small, you see? And when I do these motions here, I can do a circular motion here like this, blocking in front. Washing, they got like, I forgot what they call it now, washing uh, clouds or circling clouds or different, got different names for this, okay, cloud hands. And you can go bigger, and then later you can sink your weight and turn your waist into it. So one's blocking out and one's blocking in, and you can start to turn. Okay, so your, your body actually should move and the hands follow. You feel from the roots it, and it can be blocking against the swing. You don't want to go this way, you want to go the same way. See, and this is here, this can block up and I can strike low, see? I could be in front here, I could block here and strike in this way, see? Up here. 
or punch, see, from, from, you know, make sure it comes from the spine, okay? And make sure it's close to the body here, see? Don't go too far always, too far. You don't need to. It's like you have a training, but you want to be realistic, and you want to make sure you're doing, you can walk back. See, if I'm standing here, I can step back. I can go this way, see? This hand just follows. And you can, like, wash. Imagine you're washing with your forearm here, blocking away. So if someone's going to hit my body, I can block with my forearm. I can circle back out again. This hand, I can have one hand here, and this hand can just keep on circling. Or just stay here, see? Notice how I sink, see? This can block here, 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 here. The spine here, see? Kind of sinks. These are different kinds of training you can do. A step here, step back up to the wall here, bring it in, or step back, see? Come back here. I can step to another angle. So I'm putting my hands as palms in front, or like this, or this hand still up here. See? And you get a habit of springing your hands here like this, and becoming like, from a ball, you can step back. This could still be here. So I step back. <laughs> Make sure you've got enough space. Step back. And then this hand comes out. You leave this hand here with a guard. You, know, you don't, you don't want to step back. You don't want to leave your hand always, but I mean, you don't always want to also step back. And he's coming. You want to make sure you got, you know, okay. So it's like that kind of motion. So do you like that? So here, here. See, so I could just put my hand here. You know, like it's a traditional kung fu or a karate like this kind of motion. See, but that's what we're talking about. So with these motions here, we've got the ball. So when you turn, you can do this. Turn this way. And palm out. I can grab. It's like a we're a true kind of movement also like in, in come from what you see, but it's like you come in here, I can come from this side, and then palm out, see, palm from there. Solidly whip that out, see, or this side. I don't have much space here, but I'm still showing you, see. And I can come here, I can come here, see, and then come, corkscrew, see, here, don't go up and down, try and keep one level. And then come forward and do that, or here. It must step back and come here, over, see. Might step back. Here, step back. Make sure you've got enough space. Here, I might, I might just start, you know, block down and strike. So you work in these motions. When you do a circular motion, also you can have your one hand here. You can do inner blocks if you wish to, double inner circles. So here, one comes in and one goes out. And then you can turn your waist also as you're doing that and sink your, sink your weight, sink your right weight and turn your waist. Another one you can do is out this way, so here, 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 see, for blocking motions. These are very useful later on when you feel if someone's holding your wrists and trying to push you, you see it. You can sink your weight, turn, absorb that in, get them into arm locks and all kinds of things. These are very good techniques you can put into pushing hands. So when you learn different techniques and pushing and stuff and all different techniques, you'll see what I mean. Opening up, blocking down with two wrists, if someone's going to hit me here, I can block. And I can push them back when I started. You can also do doubles, like circling out. I'm crossing on the outside here and going out. You can do the crane also, but I'm just outwardly like this, or just here in front, or just doing the circles, like you're washing the windows in and out, or like this. Just come through techniques. Or you can, as I say, do the twisting of the motion. I like to do these twists. You now relax your shoulders too. Okay, when you do it, like here, see. And then try to make it small and subtle. And then when your hands are coming together, you'll start to feel when you can hold this ball, you see. I'm imagining I'm holding a ball here. And this, you know, and I'm coming out imagining, I'm, so I'm blocking here up and I'm hitting low. I'm here, I'm coming on top here and hitting low, see. I'm here, I'm here. I might roll over, block, and then pan, see, or, or back this. See, so all the techniques work. So, um, I can, you might come to grab onto me, I might grab that on the outside, grab your arm, absorb that in, push that against your elbow, see so I lock, just come back up and strike, or elbow you, or punch you. I can also come and elbow you, as I'm doing that motion, see, I, when I'm doing this, I can grab and strike, and parry and strike. I can pull your arm down, and then come on top. See, so when you've got these motions, see, hitting here, so hitting behind, hitting behind here. So it's what is kind of motion. And if you understand about you know Wing Chun concepts, it's the best of both worlds, I feel. No, if you know anything about Aikido or Ninjutsu, let's say let's say Aikido for the circles, you know, Bagua circle stepping, 
um, Aikido circular movements and locks, really good. And then Tai Chi absorbing with the, with the sticky hands and the ball, and then Wing Chun with the center line, and only how to stick and do the motions and be like really, you know, to the point, very to the point with Wing Chun. It's useful, but when you understand these concepts of the soft and how to flow, and, you know, not mess around, but like really understand how to um, use these techniques, you, you'll learn a lot against the one against the elbow, one against one hand against the el wrist, one against the elbow, and push, I could come and grab the elbow, this one against your shoulder, and push you in whatever direction you're falling. If you come to hit me here, I just bring my arms to this block. This hand can come and attack, see? This hand can come and protect here. I can use my elbow to block, my hand, whatever. And you come up to hit me here, I come up here. You come in and take my body here, I just twist my elbow in the guard, see? Or my hand. So you just wash it away, whatever's coming. You come in and hit me, I might bring both hands up. It's like I'm really holding a book of knowledge. And I push, I can block down, see? Push back, block here. Cross underneath if I wish to cut that out, see? So I'm mixing my Wing Chun and my Tai Chi the way I do. But you know, when I'm doing this, see, I could do this, I could come here and chop you here. I come across the top, forearm strike straight away and come back again. And you see like the Tai Chi ball, for example, coming out of the throw and, and then the uh, forearm strike. Okay, so when you're doing the technique, someone comes to hit me, I can block low. Block up, I can block out. Block out, double out this way. Different things I can do here. But you want to remember to sink your weight. And, everything, and don't reach in. Walk in or absorb what's coming here. So from here, whatever's close. You grab my elbow, my hand comes out. See, this is coming here. I won't be a mile away here. So it will come together, see, immediately. See, and here. I'm trying to find the way in with my palms rolling over. So I'm doing this rolling kind of palm technique, you see. Come to hit me, I might block, hit low. I might block, come up rolling over. Whether I grab it or I just use my arm, and this one hits on top, I might cover your other hand and palm here. Hit up here, see? Hit low. When you're doing the techniques, it's like that, see? It's like a, a yin yang almost, see? I'm blocking, hitting low here. Or well, it could be elbows, I can just use my elbows even. Like here, see, in my hands, if I'm using my elbow to strike here, here, blocking, palm, elbow from here, elbow from here, see? Block. Elbow can come in here, so you'll come back out of my arm. Grab, lift up your elbow. Come into the gut here, see? Step in my elbow, to some in my waist motion. See? Hands always flowing with these elbow techniques. And coming, see, it's not just for show, it's like you know how to feel it and work it as it's coming. So anyone who's got knowledge of Wing Chun and Tai Chi, you'll know exactly what I'm saying. Okay? So these motions, I'm doing it in a very small, mo small, space here but it they really do work and I know you know how that works. You don't want to leave your elbows too far away either, okay? Make it small. So it's coming at me, boom. Come hit me a boom. Grab the wrist, the your wrist on the outside come in. Or up inside through your jaw there. You my shoulder to lock against yours. Hit low. Walking straight in. If you come up here, I don't want to lock your arm onto my arm, block myself so you hit me. I want to make sure I'm always wrapping over. When I block up, I can strike high. When I'm blocking low, see? When I'm blocking high, I can strike low. When I'm blocking low, I can strike high. I'm rolling over. I'm not turning too far for the sake of it, because if you turn too far for the sake of it, they can hit me here or here. I'm bringing two hands low to hit me high. Two hands too high, hit me low. So you want to make sure I can block here and utilize the principles of the in and the out, the hard and the soft, the yin and yang, okay, when you're doing the move, okay? So thank you for watching this video. I'm a little bit stiff tonight. <laughs> um, just make sure you always loosen up and stuff, you know. And this, that's what you're doing here. So when you do this motion with the ball, as I say, you don't always have to turn. It depends on the situation, okay? It's not your feeling. It's, just, it's literally the reaction to the techniques that are coming at you. So I'm standing here. I can literally just bring my hands like this, see? So I can come here. I can have one hand down underneath it, or it can be like this. It depends on the situation. So I can come here and turn. You know? Do these motions, see? Blocking, see? Blocking very small. If I can pull you to the side and come in, I can pull you from here. I can block up here, see? Higher. Using the twisted motions, see? 
twisting motions and I can roll over, I can use my my wrists in certain ways and my, so my arms blocking and my hands and my feet are, I might stamp on the foot as I'm coming in, I might come up for a knee strike or a foot stomp there, a kick might be raising certain techniques. Yeah, but you want to make sure you're, you're rooted really, you know. You don't always have to grab, grab, but it's there. And when you do this motion, when you're opening out here, however you're going to do it, you know, you know, however I'm going to do this technique here, and I'm doing this kind of motion here with the small motions, okay, there's another technique called the butterfly palms too, when you're doing this to the side, one hand here, one hand here, and you do a palm, and sometimes you put them together too like this, there's another motion. There's many like soft motions you see in Kung Fu techniques, but uh, basically though, when you do it, you know, you get this softness and the hardness, and when you're doing the motion, you know, make sure that you're, you're focused and controlled. So I'm doing, this is like an outer block and an inner block here, see? And any time I can come in, that's what you see when you see like Wing, wing Chun pushing hands with the whole body in there, the tightly pushing hands when you're doing it, okay? And when you want to make sure that you're small there in the frame and got the good guard to come in, and very subtle also. When you do the bigger forms and the techniques that when you're doing a Tai Chi or a Bagua form, you're doing a lot of exercise and you do it slowly and you exercise your whole body. Uh, bigger movements too sometimes, you know. But I'm just going over a few basic, basic, very simple, some blocking concepts of some Tai, tai Chi, as I say, and some Wing Chun, okay, Yung Chun. When you're doing it. Now, what I want to say to you basically though, is when you do it, when you do this motion here, when you're moving out, and when you're going to grab, usually, you if you are grabbing, you will use these three fingers, as I've said before, these three, and you've got the finger and the thumb here, like open here for like a control. We, we focus on that a lot in weapon training too, like the, the stick and the spear. Um, but what you're doing is you're going to grab with these three, one, two, three, and then these ones will be open. It's like the tiger's mouth. My teacher said the tiger's mouth. Okay, and you do that, and then you finally lock on. If I was doing a wrist lock, let's say, for example, thing like that, you know, I'll do that and then twist. So you're doing that and you're watching through the tiger's mouth, okay? And you do that, okay? It's no bullshit, it's real points, I'm saying, okay? Whatever you call it, you know? So you're doing that soft, you feel with your wrist as he's coming, you're rolling as he's coming in, and you're going there and grabbing, see? And then, as you do it. And the good thing is, it doesn't matter if he's grabbing onto you. I mean, if you can feel it, you know how to grab on and you can absorb. That's the most important thing. And as I said, the wing turn is very good for the centre when you're doing the wing turn, as I say. But um, very good control there. And you want to make sure that your movements are very, very subtle when you do the movements, okay? Don't make it so um, exaggerated, you know, exaggerated when I say that. Thanks very much for watching. Train hard and stay safe. Next time I will show you some more. Uh, we'll go over this some more. But I want to show you some more wing chun, as I say. Young chun, okay, when we get a chance. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Train hard and stay safe.